morning, guys. So we give you all sorts on this channel. We give you appalling ABBA <laughs> tributes. I'm not gonna show you that, that's exclusive. Um, and what are we doing at the moment, Mr. Wilder? We're all writing our book. Yeah. Probably we're writing a book together. Yeah, we've got all sorts of deadlines coming up. We so have um, bat ass crazy yeah. shit deadlines. We've been kind of alluding to us doing this book, mm. but it's been a long time in the thinking. Yeah. And now we're really hitting deadlines. Yeah. And it's so hilarious because we never stop talking. So we've got this long list of what we should be reading this morning before we have our discussion. Mm. And then we just, we read a chapter and then we start having a discussion again. And then yeah. it's like, right, what are we doing? Oh yeah, we're going to read all of this. And um, yeah. So, so this, is a book, this is a book about our homeschooling journey. But what we're hoping it will be is we don't want it to be a book about homeschooling for homes, just homeschoolers, if you know what I mean. Yeah. It's a book that hopefully will offer tips and advice and different ways of viewing things for parents who want to keep, who actively want to keep their kids in school, but just want to loosen up what yeah. learning means a bit, you know, yeah. and sort of put a bit, bit more variety into it. And we're thinking of you guys a lot. We're yeah. just talking about the subs and saying yeah. what the subs want from this book. Yeah, how you like our voices. So a large yeah. part of this book is going to be sort of structured in a way of... It'd be like Nadia's a conversation voice. Yeah. between me and Mark. Absolutely. Or yeah. certainly, you know, flipping between our perspectives on things. Like when I thought Nadia was batshit crazy. <laughs> You're right, what was that? This is happening a lot. What's happening with your throat? Have you noticed bubbles are constantly coming up? I got a bubble. Why do you keep getting bubbles? I don't know. What does that mean if you get bubbles? But this was happening to me a couple of weeks. Do you remember What's a couple it? of months ago, I was getting this thing where the girls What's would go, that? Dad, Dad, your throat's done that. <coughs> What's that disease? People have an indigocardia. What? When people, and then they lay no, my, egg. No, my, they lay an egg. No, no, they <laughs> smell. I ran my phone when she went to <laughs> India. Should you be on a bus? And yeah. this, it was quite virulent at that time when she was there and, and they would smell egg and everyone would go, Jacardia, and cover their nose like this because this particular virus, when you burped, you would get the smell of egg, pure egg. Oh my God. My, well, anyway, my throat was making this strange noise that the girls would be like, Dad, do you think it's like a death rattle? Oh God. I'd do that. I like this bro, but it always gives me shoulder ache. Well, it seems to be pulling you forward. Yeah. You look like you're getting closer to the table. Sit normally with it. Yeah, it's dragging you down. It's pulling my tits forward. They might need to put them on the table. <laughs> <laughs> Careful, the table can't cope. Anyway, let's get back to work. You can see, you can see what she was like at school. Couldn't get anything done. She's now got her tits on the table. Tits on the table, tits on the table, tits on the table. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, I'm very excited. We've just had a call from Moda Furnishings. Phil, Phil, Phil is bringing, yeah. Mark's got no idea what I've ordered. Um, what have you ordered? It's actually hashtag gifted. Oh. We have got, no, I don't think I should tell you, garden furniture arriving. Is it I lot? think we should reveal it as we open it. Oh, okay. So yeah, I've been looking at this stuff online for ages. Daisy's got some. Lots of lots of um, lots of people have these guys' furniture, and it's really gorgeous stuff. And um, so I was just really cheeky. <laughs> I just emailed them. Went, do you want to hashtag give me something? <laughs> it's like, how come everybody gets all this bloody gifted stuff and we never do? And I said, we'll put it on our vlog. We'll put it on our Instagram. And they said, yeah. So. <laughs> really excited. Really, Mark's really mean about things like garden furniture. I've been trying to buy some for years. He goes, well, you know, let's think about it in a couple of months. So. Okay, so now just water off the telly. Sit it. Close your eyes. Hold my, hold my hand. Up. Hold my hand. <laughs> Don't look. Big step. Yeah. Big step. I'm looking, but I'm just looking at the floor. Okay. Yay! Oh my God, I've got a table. We have a lazy Susan. Is it me? Yeah. A lazy Susan. And underneath there is an ice bucket. Yeah. That's crazy. How do we see the ice bucket? Look. Yeah. And then the brolly goes through there, but we need a brolly bottom. Brolly bottom. 
finally. Oh. We can all see. <laughs> oh, it's brilliant. High pollen count. Isn't that brilliant? Yeah. Oh, and they were lovely, the guys. What do you think? I really love it. Really like it. Ow, ow. Obviously, it will when you start to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it needs to be a bit more central as well. Yeah. But yeah, yeah really nice. Brilliant. Really nice. Yay! So you're not going to put paving down for the chairs, just for the table? Yeah, because I was a bit rotten. Riggy's spoon is gone, gone, gone. Riggy's spoon is gone. Carry the big fresh flavour. Riggy's spoon is gone, gone, gone. Do you remember that advert? No. Okay. Yeah, it was a giant <laughs> Wrigley. It was a giant <laughs> chewing gum. Yeah. yeah. Wrigley's screaming, gum, gum, gum. She was with a big fresh flavour. She can't stop Kiki went to the park the other day and I just said, what did you do with your friend in the park? And she said, danced most of the day. Did you? Made me really happy. Oh. Yeah. Look how yellow that omelette is. Good eggs. Look how yellow the tulips are. Look how yellow the bananas are. Yeah, Hello, yellow. Yellow, yellow, yeah. Who's yellow, yellow, yeah? I'm going to add a fart sound in there. Mella, yellow, Mark, if you do. What? Do it again. Do it again. Kick your leg up. It's the yellow mellow. Yeah. It's the yellow yellow. Yeah. Or oh, we all live in a yellow submarine. A yellow submarine. A yellow submarine. We all live in a yellow submarine. A yellow submarine. A yellow submarine. Make sure you don't injure yourself, babe. <laughs> you know what you like. Anyway, chew. Very. So, guys, some lovely bananas. Stop saying hey, guys. It's so social media. Hey, guys. What do you mean? You do it all the time. I don't. Yes, I'm you do. So, Nadia guys. is bagging. No, Nadia is bagging rice. Why are you bagging rice? I don't think I should answer that question. Why? You just said turn the camera on, this is good for the no, subs. No, don't say that, because, no, Mark, stop. Don't it's say good for the subs. No, not in that way, <laughs> not for you to take the piss, and that it's a, it's a good tip. What is the tip? So, cook your rice, <laughs> because you know when you buy bagged rice, it's so expensive, and you cook your big batch of rice, put it into bags, put it into the freezer, right, and a, a rice that has been kept very cold for 12 hours or in the freezer, reduces its starch by 30%. So this, that's a heavy carb, becomes a much lighter carb. Can I tell Brown you? rice is really good for you because it's got B vitamins in, it's got essential essential minerals, and it's but, really, really good for you. If you can change to brown rice from white rice, you will do yourself so much, so much I'm good. I'm agreed, agreed. But can I just say, I know exactly what's gonna happen with these little ice bags of rice. Ice rice, rice ice, ice rice. They are going to sit in the effing freezer for the next six years like your the dirty batch. old monkey brown bananas. The batch I did last week, I have finished. Rubbish. I have. We have dead bananas life. from approximately 87 years ago. You could do an archaeological dig <laughs> in our freezer. Yeah, we looked at the date on it, it was 2013. This is my Buddha bowl rice. And I have put a bowl you are not, you're going to forget it's in the Eat freezer and it's going to take space. I haven't got time, I'm trying to do everything. Can you put these Why are you manufacturing fucking rice bags? Because I had to cook a big batch because I need it to have a Buddha bowl every day. Buddha bowl. Remember guys, rice kills. It does. Rice. Do not ever, ever. People die of rice all the time. Rice doesn't play nice. Right guys, I'm doing a run by the Thames today as exercise and I've got on my backpack, but it looks ridiculously small. <laughs> feel like I'm wearing a tiny bra. Nads, feel like I'm wearing a bra. You look really silly. What do you mean? I... You just look silly. It doesn't... Oh, you how, how does it go round? 
don't understand. Well, can you sort it out for me, could no. you? Please. Carry the big fresh flavor. <laughs> I'm going to lose swimming. I Fuck have off. applied my TV Thank makeup. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I misjudged that. <laughs> huh? <laughs> One, two, three. Carry the big fresh flavor. Let's all do it as a harmony. One, two, three. Carry the big fresh flavor. <laughs> Show the subs what I look like. Where did Buddy go? <laughs> he looks like a total idiot. Oh, Mark, you don't even know how bad you look. <laughs> no, I'm just. I'll film it. You look like a teenage, uh, teenage mutant ninja turtle. <laughs> 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 Mark, you've got it on a five-year-old. How relevant yeah. is that? You you've got it right on. What if a five-year-old was wearing it, this is where you would put this, right? No, just bring it down. We're late. That's gonna, what I mean. I'm going to be one of those really, really irritating guys that runs past people and kind of goes, "Do you mind moving?" There you oh, go. That's better. What's that because you had it on a five-year-old. I could suddenly see. <laughs> I suddenly feel free to do what I want to do. Because Maddie, we're free. I want to get loaded. I want to have a good time. We're going to pop. Yeah, that's good. Is that better? Okay, that's good. This is too, what have you done everything you possibly could have to look like a Wally? That's two. Yeah, that's not long enough for you. Oh I'll suck like your nose. No, no, I've got TV <laughs> makeup on. Oh. TV makeup. What's TV okay, makeup? <laughs> Ridley Spearman. Well, just for Maddie before we leave. One, two, three. Ridley Spearman gum, gum, gum. Ridley Spearman gum. gum. Carry the big fresh flavour. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> Did you? You just lay that. It was so delayed. <laughs> Why is your mouth black? Can we go? I've got, I've got blueberry in it. Can we go? <laughs> God, it's like an oven in here. Look at the state of this car. It's babe, disgusting. Babe, I feel... Oh, shit, I've got this on. <laughs> Absolute <laughs> idiot. You really, really do look like a wally, babe. Like a wally? I don't think you should use it. I feel like a wally. No, I'm, a, I'm a person... No, please stop trying to mess up my TV makeup. TV makeup? It's so annoying. You look like a drag queen. <laughs> okay, so I've dropped Nadia off at Loose Women. I'm on the South Bank. I've got my laptop in my phone. I've got my book in my bag. I've got my inhaler in my pocket. And guess what? I've got a bloody full bladder too. That's a bloody pain in the neck, isn't it? And look at this, look. The National doesn't want anyone sitting anywhere near its building. So they're holding that off. A bit weird, isn't it? Why not let people just sit out there? Um, okay, so now I'm gonna run along the Thames all the way to Tower Bridge. And if I get there early, I'll be doing some writing. I'll be doing some reading and looking forward to seeing Nanny die. But what am I going to do about my bladder? I'm hoping by running, my urine will come out of sweat. I know Nanny hates me saying that, but apparently that's what your body does. Clever enough. Seventeen minutes later, seventeen minutes later, bladder not so full, and I'm look up ahead. There's Tower Bridge. About 45 minutes early, but uh, it's nice to have run along the Thames. Oh my god, there's a Marks and Spencers. Oh my god, can I go in the back? Can I run carrying a bag of groceries? I don't know how I can do that. So, anyway, I'm gonna go up to the grass and I'm gonna chillax for 10 minutes. say if one of my daughter's boyfriends came and asked for my for their hand in marriage their hand in marriage and I would have to say that there's two caveats if I hated them I'd say come downstairs and take this lie detector test and I'd ask a series of really deep and twisted questions about his intentions and his loyalties uh, if it was a kid I liked a boy I liked I'd do exactly the same but I'd probably do the test for about 10 minutes less and then pat them on the back and say, ah, oh, come on then, brilliant. Uh, so yeah, if I hated them, I'd want to chop their arms off. Uh, if I liked them, I'd tease them along for a little bit, but I'd find it quite gracious, actually. There's Tower Bridge. Her little feet, we'll be carrying her over it for a second time. Oh, this is weird, isn't it? What a new normal, meeting Nanny Dye by Tower Bridge. 
Who'd have thunk, who'd have thunk it, eh? And there's, and there's not many tourists about. I mean, normally that bridge over there, see that? See that bridge over there? That would be absolutely heaving. I mean, to the gills, full of people. Uh, there's quite a few people here having a look, having a sort of a snack to eat lunch, but how many of them are like me? Because Londoners coming out for a bit of a break. Somewhere over there. You're dressed like a bee. Say hello to the subs. Subs, hi. How are you? Are you? Um, you haven't very breathless. Are you breathless? Very breathless. It's high pollen count today. Oh, bloody hell! You're telling me. Yeah. Oh, oh look. look at you in your red. I've run it. I wondered about that. Do you feel all right? Yeah. Yeah. I just was thinking about thirst and stuff like that. Yeah, no, because if I drink too much, I need a wee, and I haven't been for a wee, and it's really hard not to go for a wee. Exactly. I shouldn't have mentioned it, should no, I? No. No, I need a wee. <laughs> Should we go and sit? Yeah, let's go. Let's and go and sit. sit. Okay. Have Walk you been, this way. Have you been waiting for absolutely mm. ages? I knew you'd be long before you said you'd be. Beep, beep, beep. Uh, I, I did get here much earlier, actually. I but but that was partly because it normally takes 40 minutes to walk and it took 17 minutes to run. <laughs> I was just thinking that. I was sort of limping across the bridge thinking, Mark would do this in two minutes. Yeah, it no, it was, it seems was like a bloody long bridge when you're walking across <clears throat> yeah, no, the bridge. Wipe the bottom of your mouth. I've just had lunch. Yeah, okay. I, I ran with my sandwich in my backpack. Oh, you see, that's what I call... Yeah. Yeah. Are you Fresh. still filming? Yeah. Say hello. Any news to report? Uh, uh, no, not really. Is there? Uh, How's Hillary Mantel? Well, uh, Hillary Mantel is firmly on the back burner oh. until I've finished. Um, my name is Lucy Barton, which is for the subs. Oh yeah. On, on, which I've stopped. Which I think at this moment is the best book ever written. Oh. I mean, Tell the subs what you thought of Plume, my felt my book. For oh, a couple of weeks I ago. loved it. Did you guys read it? It was. Um, I did one of my classic. Mark had done it as his book, and I, I, and I. We both liked the, yeah. the first book that he did, and I read about three pages of it. I thought, oh no, this is too complicated for me. Threw it on one side. Then Mark said, no, try it again. So I did. Totally hooked. Think it's abs and about alcoholism. It is absolutely Aww. brilliant. I haven't found anything better. No, nothing better. No, no. Yeah. So. How are you, little shorts? How's Forky? Do you know what I've done? I've what? let him out of. He's still got his gloves, but he hasn't got his mouth. Oh, is it easing lockdown for Forky? Easing lockdown. Easing lockdown. Do you know why? Why? Because Kerb Kaboom, or whatever his name is, fell off the fridge and in the process of him falling off, his mask went. <gasps> and so I thought, that's not fair, is it, oh, to have no. one with a mask and one without? So they've you both might, got gloves. You might have to have no a mask. local lockdown again over the fridge. Well, <laughs> uh. so, yeah, in one corner of... Yeah, yeah, yeah. In one corner of the room, yeah. Oh, look, look, like, these are social distancing marks. Oh, are. that's the cue for the for the Mr. Whippy. Oh, so there you go, Mum, that's two metres for you. No, I know. I know, yeah, I know. Basking in the shadow of Tower Bridge. I mean, you're very lucky where you live. I know. Yeah. I was thinking that, I mean. You could really walk anywhere into town. Y yeah, you could. Really? And in the older days, when I wasn't having operation after yeah. operation on my legs, I must have had a bike back in those days because I used to cycle to the Globe a yeah, lot and yeah. just tie it up outside. And then I mean, literally cycle back. just over your shoulder. I'm going to put my finger. In. That yeah. there is Tower, the Tower of London, the Tower guys. Tower of London. Which, if you want, if you want to know about Anne Boleyn, just feel it, feel it, feel it. Feel it, feel it. What? Yeah. You'll feel it. An awful lot of people don't, you know, tourists. I just heard a couple just then. And every time I come across, they're calling it the Castle. Yeah, it's and funny. I'm, People think it's much older than it I'm is. I'm thinking, do they know that that's... It's quite a it's relatively new bridge. Yeah, I mean, well, yes, Victorian, exactly. Victorian, isn't it? I'm thinking, do they realise this is the town, not Buckingham yeah. Palace, maybe? No, I don't, I don't know don't. if they do. Um, oh, OK. Well, let's walk this way. Let's walk this way. <laughs> oh, it's so nice to see you. <laughs> what are you going to say to the subs? Oh, well, bye, subs. Soon lockdown will be over and yeah. I can be in the garden and doing yeah. things. And we need to wait for the government to announce when we can hug each other again. I, know, I don't think they're ever going to announce that. I don't think they're ever going to do that. I wish they would. Do you want to share with the subs just how much spliff we can smell here? There's an awful lot of spliff smelling. Yeah, I think you're going to go back high. Maybe that's why you and I have both been a bit emotional. Yeah, <laughs> maybe that's crying why. and laughing hysterically. <laughs> oh, oh God, yeah. So high five. High five. Let me do a little photo for your Insta. Big smile. <laughs> <laughs> Say what? Is that what my weeping willow is going to look like? Yeah, it might, after we're, well, we might be about 98. 
We're very excited. We're at the park. We're Although this is a really off. horrible car park. Yeah, we're going to drop the girls off because they're going to go on a picnic. But why we're going this way, which you never see, which is the ugly way, is we have heard that the coffee shop is open. And we haven't had a single coffee outside of the house in lockdown, have we? I know, and I'm really quite looking forward to one. I'm really, I'm really looking forward to complaining yeah, about... Coffee. I'm looking forward to complaining about how little there is in a double espresso. Yeah, we're going to moan about how expensive yeah. it is moan about it and then there's yeah. going to be lots of people or or are we going to do what we said we would do and we're going to have real gratitude or are we going to do what we said we were going to do which is not waste money on getting coffees when yeah. we're out or are we just going to go hamies and make our own coffee or am i going to run in there and like a mad person hug everyone because <laughs> i just want human contact <laughs> Or let's just look at how blue the bloody sky is. Or, or better still, let me just look at them. Oh, Mark. Do you remember what? When, when we were camping with Lisa, and Mum was weeing behind a, behind something, and then this woman came up in front of her. And then Mum was like, oh, sorry. And then the woman was like, it's okay. And then Mum farted. And then the woman was like, and then the woman was like, eh. And I always think if you ever see Mum's Yeah. I always think, well, what if she's watching me one day and tell me, oh, I saw her and she farted right in front of me. She does those big elephant farts. No, it wasn't an elephant. It was like a big clap. That's not exaggerated. You do really? clapping farts, I think Ned. take... Sorry, Tough. But this was it, it's because Lisa went, don't worry, you go there and I'll look out. So she was looking out this way and then the woman came out the gate. There was a hidden gate that we knew nothing about. Hidden gates always make me fart. Oh. Come on, no, it's because I was like this and then I laughed. Hey? Do they definitely have ice coffee? I think so. It's only down there. Minute. And then you can go off your one. Are you, you going to have a coffee, Kiki? Last time Kiki had a coffee, no, she no, had a panic know. attack and her head nearly exploded. But she was only three and she'd had a double espresso. Yeah. <laughs> but they're given to her by her grandmother. Yeah, nanny dies. Died. Anyway, it's good for you. It's good for you. Did she give you a <laughs> diazepam? So nice. I love it. Oh, uh, <laughs> oh, some nice ones, Pop. Mm. I just say there's a definite feel in the air of life returning to normal. What do you think? It's very exciting. It's to the coffee shop. <gasps> oh. There's lights on. Oh my god. There's queues. Outside. There's a long social distancing queue. Is there? Yeah. Oh. Tailing all the way down to the toilet. Oh no, is there? Yeah. Are oh, you such a misery? Toffee, what are we going to no, I want to go. I want to go and be with people. I want to be with like-minded people, and like-minded people for me are people who want coffee. We haven't done a social distance queue yet. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Your trees. Oh, it's so I nice to be out. It's so nice to be out. Nice to be out, eh? Oh, look. Order. Queue this way. Stay on the lines. Oh, Toffee's not staying on the lines. This is the new normal, man. What do you think of the new normal, Cooks? Are you digging the new normal? No, I don't Look like at the new it. normal. I don't like Can it. you stand away from me, please? I'm in my line. Are you in your line? That was short lived. The new normal isn't very good. No. The new normal isn't fun. Take an hour. <laughs> So what an we do? hour that we could be walking or working, so it's not an hour we can hand over. And we've got a coffee machine at home, and we saved ourselves eight quid. Is that going to be the new normal, though, where we just give up on yeah. queues? Yeah, saves money, doesn't it? I don't know, yeah, but this, this, this business is going to keep going. Another coffee. Businesses are going to have to really slim down, though, aren't they? Oh, Toffs. You know what I would do? I'd have somebody going along yes. outside and taking the orders. Yeah, uh, uh, socially distanced. Yeah. Yeah. Are you alright Kiki about not getting your double espresso? <laughs> <laughs> She's having a crack fused breakdown. Due to the, my agoraphobic tendencies, we haven't got out much recently at all have we? So the dogs are so happy. Come on. Look how pretty it is up here. Oh look they're so happy. Happy puppies. <sighs> We're in the middle of nowhere at this moment, but actually it's just a eighth of a mile stretch in Crystal Palace Park. Yeah. One, there isn't any one. It's one hillock.
So guys, it's been a very busy afternoon. Just edited the Green Fingered Hell and a vlog. We've, written, we've both done a load of writing. But Nadia, look, you've bleached the floor. I've got the cake and I've got all around the edge. Wow. Look at that. I'm going to go and get the girls from school. From school? Oh my God. <laughs> Because I've been writing about schooling and not sc <laughs> schooling and all that. Uh, oh, I've got some blueberries. Oh, I've got anything I can nibble on. What can I nibble on? Blueberries. <laughs> hey, baby. We had some time on our own together, baby. And we didn't talk to each other. Last scrubs the floor and you wrote. I know. Didn't do, we didn't take advantage of it at all. Mm. Mm. All right, see you in a bit. <laughs> So Mark is just setting up the camera for our garden watch. Don't know if you guys, if all you guys have uh, checked out our garden watch. It's just an hour where we set up the camera live, so you can look over the garden, listen to the birds. Yeah, and we Mark came up with this idea a couple of weeks ago or so. Um, just because a lots of you had said that you didn't have gardens, and those of you that were shielding and couldn't get out at all. So the garden's looking so lovely because Mark's worked so hard on it. But it's a really good idea for him to share it. Yeah? So we're gonna, we're just parking it there and then we're coming inside because what we do is leave the door open as well. If people want to catch some of the conversation. And I'm all set up here to do the cooking for the No Name Sunday show. So today I'm doing mozzarella stuffed meatballs oh. and I'm doing a totally tropical meringue so I'm doing individual meringues with mango and toasted coconut how yum is that I find that using the backhand is much more uh, efficient sometimes if they're on a surface to come in like on the half volley so that as it comes up off the top you get it as it goes down i got one earlier it's so exciting the other day i was sitting there and i just did this i just caught it and i looked at it and i ate it that's nadia swallow off the telly over there say hi nads hi yeah say hi to the people hi. say hello everyone hello everyone yeah she's cool she's nice I think she looks really colourful. I quite like her, and if I was dancing in a nightclub, I'd do this. I'd side lock her. Be like, I said to my friends, I'd be like, what do you, what do you, what do you think of, what do you think of, what do you think of her? I'd go, excuse me. No. I say, can you make meatballs for me? <laughs> can you make me some meatballs? I really like meatballs. She'd ask me about the sausages. What sort of sausage do you like? Yeah. I'd be like, do you come here often? She'd be like, yeah. And I think she's a bit of a tart. Do you remember we used to go to gay clubs and we'd sit in the VIP areas? Do you remember that? Yep. And they'd all want to dance with me and I'd get really embarrassed. She'd always go into VIP sections because she was off the telly and I'd be like, who the hell's she? What's all this about? So weird. <laughs> Don't like it. Lucky she stayed with me given my dance moves. Back to my dance class. I like it when you wear frilly things, pink frilly things. Pink yeah, and, and I, I did it outside. And I really like leotard. Oh god, so the entire so you destroyed the biodiversity of our garden. Why? By dancing and jumping with electronic music. Our blackbirds don't like 70s or 80s music. <laughs> blackbirds singing in the dead of night. I need to get some garden shears to my eyebrows. I need to get some shit going on. Nads, my eyebrows. I'm getting those eyebrows that old Tory politicians yeah, get. Are. What do you mean? Yeah, but where they congregate at the edge of yeah. your heads. So here and here. So can you see? So that it's going away from here. And so I'm just going to have an eyebrow lump, sort of like a, almost like a log jam of eyebrow hair at this point on my head. So yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to have a chug today. If anyone hasn't followed me on Instagram, Mark underscore Adderley, I do live infant chugs. 
And the reason I do live infant chugs is that I remember possibly being at sometimes my most happiest as a child when I was standing opposite William Dibley or Stuart Wilson with a great big glass of orange barley or Ribena that was a little bit too sweet and you just stood there chugging and all you were saying to each other with your eye bubbles was this, we're gonna get back out in a minute, we're gonna get out in a minute, we're gonna get back out in a minute, but there was nothing stopping us from completely emptying and draining that receptacle. I love moments like that. Those little moments make me want to write a book about childhood. <laughs> and I need a shave. Sometimes the bristles on my face remind me I'm a grown-up and I don't want to be reminded I'm a grown-up because I want to pretend I'm still a child because deep, deep down inside us, we are all children. And even when I said to my nanny Thelma when she was 93, I said, how old do you feel inside, nanny Thelma? And she said, do you want me to be honest, Mark? I said, yes, please. She said, about 16. Therein lies a lesson, guys. We may get older on the outside, but we may as well stay as young as we can on the inside. I have to confess it's about the only time during the week that the bird song and wildlife in the garden completely vanishes. I think all the pigeons that are digging up all of my crops have done a runner. Sweaty tit. Beg your pardon? Sweaty tit. Mark. You said it. Say what? I can't believe what I've done. I've got a spoon out of the dishwasher, but it's been there for so long it was dried on egg or something. So I went to scrub it and the dried on egg went down into my thumb as sharp as a piece of a splinter. And it's gone under my thumb and it's been sitting there next to all the chicken and everything. I've probably got a sepsis from a dried egg injury. Well, I've been trying to pick individual grains of cooked rice out of the cobbles in the front drive. Why? Because the oh. whole bottom of the bin line is just oh, burst no, everywhere. Oh no, that's squished, the worst thing! Squished avocado, oh. the dirty tomatoes, fish, you name it, whatever. Oh no, Foxes I hate that so much. Why does everything happen in the rose garden? Dominic Cummings gave us all his bullshit from the rose garden. We're waiting for Trump to go into the rose garden. I don't so, think they should be allowed to bring roses into all this shit. Because they're like rose-scented shit. Well, the news is the police officer has now been charged with third-degree manslaughter. It's not good enough, really, is it? It's murder. Third-degree manslaughter. I think if I were to put you on the floor and lean and kneel on your neck until you died, that would and be murder. And challenge you to murder. then open the car and get into the car. So this is my lovely top that Mark got me. Love conquers everything. Da, da, da. Love conquers everything. La, la, la. La, la, la. La, la, la. La, la, la. Oh, that's really like a fart. Hey, yeah, look, why don't you come and give your talk in our rose garden? Huh? You can do a talk. Yeah, I don't, I want to go to the rose garden, right? We're going to have a massive fight, but I want to go in the rose. I want to go, I'm coming into the rose garden to lie and to cheat and to say terrible things, but I want to use a rose to disguise it. So That's this it. is a rose garden. But you need a table to sit at. Something nice. But you need the press to ask you ha, questions. Ha, no. It's a rose garden. Yeah, but you need the press that to ask you questions. Right. Ask me questions. So why exactly did you eat more than you planned to, Miss Sawala? Because somebody made me. <laughs> <laughs> and by the rose. I'm in the rose garden, so everything I say is going to be a lie. <laughs> ask me another question. Uh... Why didn't you get into the hot tub today? Because Mark tied me up and kept me in the cellar. But, I'm, but I'm in the rose garden, so I'm all right. Did Mark have ulterior motives? Yeah. <coughs> Ask me another question. What are you going to be doing tonight? Chai going to be putting on tick tassels and a g-string and Chai going to be dancing before the neighbours. <laughs> Remember I'm in the rose garden. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
quite excited about that prospect. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. Mark! It's actually making me cross-eyed. Stop it. I'm having to hide behind a lilac bush. I I'm having to hide my digit behind a lilac. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 